To induce this hypoxic encephalopathy ischemia model, postnatal day 7 Sprague Dolly rat pups undergo microsurgery and left common carotid artery ligation. After 1-2 to two hours of recuperation period, pups are put into a hypoxic chamber at 37 degrees Celsius for 100 minutes. Pups are then returned to their dam until they are euthanized. Following two systemic perfusion steps, Brains are removed and sectioned to 3 mm thick slices. Slices are then stained using 1% 235-triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride, or TTC solution, in order to reveal the area of infarct. Hi, I'm Hidetoshi Taniguchi from Anderson Lab in Department of Neurology and Neurological Science at Stanford University School of Medicine. Today, we will show you a procedure for neonatal hypoxic ischemic brain injury model. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study the mechanism of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy in the neonatal brain with the ultimate goal of developing new treatments. So, let's get started. To begin the procedure, fully anesthetize a postnatal day 7 Sprague Dolly rat pup with isoflurane. We use 4% for induction and 1-2% to for maintenance. After a few minutes, perform a toe pinch test to ensure the pup is anesthetized. Then sterilize the pup's neck using cotton tipped applicators to apply 10% povidone iodine followed by 70% isopropyl alcohol. Next, use sterile, extra-thin iris scissors from Fine Science Tools to make a small incision about 5 mm left of the midline. Expose the left common carotid artery, or CCA, via blunt dissection. Make sure to remove the connective tissue and the vagus nerve which may entangle the CCA. Then use a 5-0 silk suture from Ethicon to ligate the CCA. The vessel color above the ligation site should turn white right after the ligation. After ligation, close the incision with cyanoacrylate adhesive and cover with tape. Then stop anesthesia and ensure that the pup regains consciousness. Place the pup in a recovery box on a warm pad. Repeat the procedure on additional pups as needed. Observe the pups for at least 5 minutes before returning the pups to their dam. Allow pups to recuperate for 1-2 to two hours. Prior to the experiment, assemble a hypoxic chamber that contains 8% oxygen balanced with 92% nitrogen. To do this, obtain a mouse cage outfitted with a plastic cover that has two holes of 2 cm in diameter. One hole receives the tube connected to the mixed gas tank, which contains 8% oxygen and 92% nitrogen, and the other hole allows the gas to flow out. Place the chamber in a water bath and then place a thermometer in the chamber. The thermometer must register 37 degrees Celsius before the start of hypoxia. Once the pups have recuperated, place them in the hypoxic chamber for 100 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. Then return the pups to their dam. 24 hours after the end of hypoxia, euthanize the pups by deep anesthesia with isoflurane. Next, perfuse intracardially via the left ventricle 
using cold normal saline, followed by a solution of cold 1% TTC in PBS. TTC is light sensitive and must be kept protected from light. After the perfusion step, place the head on ice for one to two minutes and then expose the brain. Use an ice-cooled razor blade to slice the brain tissue at four levels. Use a spatula to scoop out the brain slices and immerse the brain slices in the TTC solution. Place the slices in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for 8 minutes to allow TTC staining to occur. Next. Transfer the sections to 4% paraformaldehyde in PBS. Cover the section since TTC is light sensitive. Then place the sections at 4 degrees Celsius and allow them to fix overnight. After the overnight fixation, scan and digitize the TTC stained sections and proceed with the results analysis. Here are representative results of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy coronal levels 1 through 4, stained with TTC. The white, unstained areas indicate the areas of infarct. Using image J, the following are measured for each level. The area of infarction, A, and the area of the ipsilateral hemisphere, B. Based on these measurements, the percent infarcted area per slice is calculated as the area of infarct over the area of the ipsilateral hemisphere, or A1 over B1, A2 over B2, A3 over B3, and A4 over B4. Then the percent volume of infarct is calculated as the sum of A1, 2, 3, and 4 multiplied by 3 millimeters divided by the sum of B1, 2, 3, and 4, multiplied by 3 millimeters. Areas of cortical or striatal injury can also be separately quantified in a similar manner. We've just shown you how to generate a hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy model of perinatal ischemia. When doing this procedure, it's important to remember to limit the anesthesia to no more than 10 minutes for each CCA ligation. To always place a thermometer in the hypoxic chamber and to maintain the temperature at 37 centigrade. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiment.